Hello, Tom Nation. It's your boy Tom. Today we're back on Mac OS. I am starting to run out of ideas on here just because, like I've said before, I'm not a big Mac OS user. Um, but if you guys want to see more, definitely like this video. I know they're not as popular, but I want to crank out at least maybe like 10 just for people who would use them, you know? Um, so yeah, let's see. Let's get rid of this Inception thing here, because I don't have two screens on here. Oh, that made it worse. Once again, I'm still getting used to using a Mac OS sometimes. Uh, but anyway, we're going to be doing Apple Script. How to send uh, keyboard presses, mouse clicks. Uh, I'm going to be testing it here uh, in two ways at the same time, really. is how to automate your browser, but also how to automate a video game. So uh, two birds with one stone, we'll do that. Uh, and here is our code. So let's increase that, uh, if I can remember how. That was definitely not it. Shift Command Plus. There we go. So we're going to start out, uh, tell application, you know, that's pretty straightforward, uh, Google Chrome to activate. So whoop, bring it to the front. Uh, as you saw, I have it minimized. Uh, delay three seconds. Uh, the reason we're doing that, uh, you can play around with this number, is because it really I can't tell you an answer, but it depends on your computer. Bringing Chrome up to your thing, it's not always going to be instant. I mean, visually it might seem instant, but code-wise, you need to slow it down. Because if I were to delete this, it does take probably a second for it to fully get to the front. Faster, depending on your computer, how many applications. We don't want the rest of this code to start running if Chrome is not actually in focus because it will screw stuff up. Uh, so you just got to play with this. Three seconds seems good. I'm actually going to make it five seconds um, just because for the sake of the video, it's easier to visually see. And I hate how when you type here, it does not fix it to the rest of the font. Uh, but yeah, five seconds seems fine for the video. Uh, so now we're going to tell application system events that's kind of what handles all that kind of information keyboard clicks all that click at 900 450 so these are our x and y coordinates uh, you have to get those yourself basically the best way i have found so far without uh, downloading anything or writing code is to do a screen capture i don't know if you're going to be able to see this on obs but uh, shift command four yeah you're going to get these little crosshairs, and that's going to tell you your X and Y coordinates. Uh, that is by far the fastest, easiest, built-in way I have found to find your X and Y coordinates. If you guys know another way or how to write the Apple uh, script for it, let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll do some random, random code that could be useful uh, video or something in the future. Um, and then we're going to do our keystroke. Um, we're just going to do return. So you can actually type out uh, the full thing of that. And then we're going to do our intel. Um, so this is a function right here. So our tell and our intel. So in stroke is just the keyboard press of return. We're going to wait another three seconds. Uh, just throwing that in there. Slow stuff down for the video. Once again, uh, tell application system events. Repeat ten times. So you can create a loop. Uh, that's great more for like video games or if you're doing a very repetitive task uh, You can do it now if for some reason this gets to five times and you need to stop it You can always push the stop sign up here as you see it will give you the result down here error It's not really an error with your code. It's just saying user canceled at line 128 So you can stop it if something goes wrong or you need to switch to a different task real quick uh, Delay I just want to throw this one in. Um, this is helpful for video games mostly. Random number from 0 0.5, half a second, to 3 seconds. So you can create it. This creates more of a human-like script. Um, you know, obviously if you're playing a video game, uh, doing the exact same delay every single time looks a little sus. Uh, so adding some randomness to it uh, definitely seems a little bit more human, because no human can perfectly press the W key every one second exactly, because it can track your milliseconds too, uh, for most stuff at least. Uh, key up. Oh, so first of all, I forgot key down is A. Make sure you put it in quotations. 
Uh, we're going to delay. We're going to do key up, key stroke. These are just me throwing out all the different varieties of what you can do, really. Um, key up is just basically just releasing. Key stroke, W, delay two seconds. Key code. Um, that's another one you can do. Um, 49. Um, you can actually look that up through Google. Um, let me think here. Uh, Mac OS. Uh, key codes, I think is all you really need to type in. Yeah, here we go. And here's a complete. So 40, what did I say? 49? Where was that? Yeah, 49. So 49 is uh, the space bar right here, as you can see. Um, so you can find that information, you know, wherever. Let's make sure we're back on the page we want. Um, so yeah, uh, basically you can do that. Uh, in repeat, after it does it ten times, basically. Uh, keystroke return, Intel. So yeah, you can do ups, that way if you want to hold down a key, if you want to just press the key, uh, stuff like that, you can do. Uh, where I have, like, you know, keystroke W, you could type out, like, a full sentence there, too. Uh, versus, you know, if you wanted to say hi, you don't have to do two lines of code, H-I-H-I, -I. you could do just hi, that's fine. Uh, you wouldn't be able to do that really with the uh, um, key codes, keep forgetting what they're called, um, just because these are in quotations, it will type it. This will actually look specifically for that number, so each one of those has to be a line of code. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much most of what I got to say on that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and from here, we're just going to push play. You can obviously save it to your uh, desktop or something to click on it to open it and run. Um, but we're just going to do this. You can push the compile the script. Uh, that's just going to format it, the syntax, a lot better. Uh, and then tell you if there's any like errors in the code. So we're good, though. Uh, yeah, let's run it. Uh, all right, I'm going to push play. Hands in the air. Oop. So that, I think it screwed up because I was in full screen, because it does do that. So yeah, let me try that again. Full screen. I guess we're going to learn if that is an issue. Yep, it accidentally was running when I had this here. All right, play. There we go. All right, so full screen apparently kind of screws with uh, running Apple Script a little bit. Who knew? Um, but yeah, so we're here. We're in this. We're playing this game. It does the click, and as you can see, it's waiting, you know, those seconds. It's doing the space bar, the jump, pressing the whatever key it was, A, W, all that. So yeah, let me move him back a little bit. There we go. So it'll do this ten times, and uh, yeah, it'll be done. Now, let's go ahead and go back and push stop. And as you see, it said air number 128. So I was just showing that I did, uh, the error is not really an error technically with your code, it's just telling you you stopped it. Which is good, I guess, the next time you can remember where you left off, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, make sure to subscribe, I throw videos out like this all the time, every week, doing with automation, usually in auto hotkeys, but I like to jump off. I apologize for the camera, uh, my Mac's not really set up in a good spot for my green screen, uh, I haven't, can't really fix that, uh, so... Hey, thanks for bearing with me, and I hope to see you all on the next one. Bye!